Hello guys, I hope you're well. Finally, after several days of uh, rain, the heat is coming slowly back now to, to Denmark and we have a lot of sun again and it's really pushed the birds to, to get into breeding mood. Um, so it's very exciting. Finally, we had the sun back and I thought it was a good time to take a small tour in the aviary. So I hope you will enjoy to, to uh, take the tour with me. And it is uh, the white-cheeked turaco male you can hear in the background. Almost sounds like a dog, but it is the turaco. He sits on top of this uh, nest box. And today I got another pair of uh, Senegal Sosterots, white eyes, are released into this aviary as well. So let's see if we can find them. Here we have one. We have the pair of the uh, cardinals, and up here we have the singing Tarago male. They have chosen to use this nest this year, so the female is using a lot of time in here. They are very fun to watch when they are running over the long branches. And they are really enjoying to have uh, the long flight they have in here. And in here we have a lot of bushes and shrubs and though it makes it hard to find the birds often, the birds really enjoy this. Here they are at their nesting place. The female sits inside the box for some hours each day, so probably she's going to lay an egg within a few days, I think. And up here, I think you can see the beak of the female Turtles de Similis. 
they had five eggs, but uh, she keeps pushing this small egg out. And I think, yeah, perhaps it's because it's infertile or something's wrong. Because I've put it up in the nest sometimes, but she keeps pushing exactly that one out again. So we'll let her decide because probably she knows best. And down here we have the red cardinal female, cardinalis cardinalis. She's laying on four fertile eggs. And here you have the red cardinal's four eggs. Bearded redlings have decided to build a nest. Still only eggs. And here we have a broad ringed white eye. And here, I just missed it. It's a chick from the red cardinals who uh, fetched the nest uh, probably one week ago and already this big. And as you saw before, the female is already on her new clutch of four eggs. Lots of birds, lots of birds nesting everywhere. Up here we have some society finches and some other ones down here. I have three pairs of bearded redlings, all on eggs right now. I've bred them in a, in a group or flock for several years and as long as they have room enough they enjoy being a Breeding very close together, uh, close and close, they, they keep uh, always uh, around two meters apart the nests, but uh, that is, is the same they would do in the nature. And let's take a small walk down here to see which birds we encounter. Here you can see one of the weavers have started building a nest. Probably the yellow crowned bishop. He's over here, you can see him. The red, or the bearded redlings, they're called. The female and the male. And here we have. Another nest being built, mm, not nearly finished. And here we have the turtle's male. And the red cardinal.
some more starfinches. I don't know why both of the ultramarine uh, grosbeak has lost all the, the hair and the head, but uh, they have, and hopefully it will come back in the next molding. And a peaking robin also known as the uh, Chinese Nightingale. And a pair of uh, large zebra finches when, uh, with one chick. And especially for the white eyes and for the peaking robins. I use this uh, to mix in water and give them, they love it. And here we have a female red-headed fish. The male is in there somewhere laying on net, eggs. 